Welcome back, my kitties. Today, we're going to go over some blurring techniques made easy. So stay tuned. All right, so I have got my workspace. I'm using a Facebook post today. And the first blurring technique that I want to show you is the auto focus. Uh, I think it's really, really neat. Um, so let me find a picture. All right, so I am going to use this um, background and um, I'm just going to set this as a background and I'm going to search for a man uh, standing, man standing, and maybe I'll just use this for now and I'll put him here and I'll just make him smaller like that. Now, let's say you wanted to blur the background here. Um, what you could do is you could just click on the background image. You could go to edit photo and there's an auto focus here. You can um, try the auto focus and that will blur the background right behind the man. Now you've got two um, uh, intensities here. You've got a blur intensity and you've got the focus position. When I toggle the focus position, it just uh, moves the position of what you want to focus on. So right now it's kind of set to here, this area, and the background is blurred. And as I move it, that purple area is going to move, bring clarity to that area. So if you want the focus to the back, then it will blur around here and then you'll see the uh, a blurring effect around. So when I toggle that down, it will bring the focus right to the end here and then blur the background. And then the blur intensity just means uh, how much of a blur it's going to be. So you can make it more blurry or less blurry just by sliding that um, slider. Okay, so um, that's one way to achieve a blur effect. Just gonna add another page. The second blurring technique um, that I wanna bring to your attention is called um, blur. <laughs> yeah, it's called blur. All right, so I'm going to choose a beach for my next uh, background and I'm going to set that image as a background and I'm going to find a woman to add to this um, background. Um, and I am just going to add uh, this person. Maybe I'm just going to remove uh, the background up for this girl and I'm just going to put her there for now and I'm just going to make her bigger. Okay, now um, I'm going to grab my background, I'm going to go into edit photo and I'm going to choose blur. And so automatically it's just going to blur the whole area in behind and I can increase the intensity and I can decrease the intensity. Now, uh, I'm just going to go back for a sec because you can also apply this to the picture of the woman. So if I want to make her blurry, I've made her blurry. If I want to decrease the, in the intensity of the blur, I can do that too. So it all depends on, the, on what you want to apply the blur effect to and the intensity of the blur effect you want to achieve. Now, the third type of blurring effect, I'm going to be using the old Canva editor. And the way you toggle to the old editor um, is uh, you need to go into um,
Now I'm going to find a picture of a city and I'm going to select this picture here. I'm going to set that as my background and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to edit photo and I want to go to the old uh, editor. Now you'll notice down here it says you're using the new photo editor to use the old experience. Click here. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to revert to the old editor. Now I'm going to click edit image again and I am going to look for the blur tool, which is this one here. Now I, I know it may seem the same as the other blur tool, but it's not and I'll show you why. So when I click this, I'm going to get uh, an auto blur, I'm going to get a plus and a, a restore. And I'm going to choose the this blur to manually blur the area I want to um, make blurry. So this is the area that I want to make blurry. So I'm just going to um, select that. And I'm going to bring that down here and it's just going to blur that area there. Now, if I want to increase the intensity, I can increase the intensity. I can decrease the intensity if I wanted to. Now, um, I can uh, increase the spread or I can decrease the spread. Um, I can change the brush size and I can show the original and there's the original. Okay, so now um, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to say apply and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pick a picture of a woman, picture of woman. I'm going to go into photos and I am just going to choose this one here. Um, and I'm just going to bring that to the front. There we go. Um, and it looks like I've got two, so I'm just going to delete one. <laughs> and I'm just going to go into edit image and I am going to uh, remove the background. Now this is the effect that I like most because you can make this into a poster, you can add some text, and um, you can really make this into something uh, creative. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down there and I'm going to um, increase the size. And what you can do also is you can um, kind of apply a, a little bit of a uh, transparency to her image to kind of make it like blend uh, more seamlessly. Um, lastly, you'll want to add some text. there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Join me next time when we'll go over some other awesome technique from Canva. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe so that you know when new content comes out. Until next time, my friends, 
Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.